1981 Mazda RX-7, 2.3 with the rotary engine, this one. It's an 81 car. Current keeper has owned this car since 1986. So that's pretty good going on that, that's for sure. To be sold, uh, no reserves and not running. The starter motor is in the boot. The, 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 the vendor did say it ran no bother. And then the starter motor packed up some year ago. He took the starter motor off. Uh, and that's how it's been left. But it's been in the garage all this time as well. Well worth saving this. Quite a rare car these days. So, body wise, we're going to start off with the bonnet. We're our way around. We'll have a look at the engine bay. We'll have a look at the interior as well. You can see there's various little spider bits of surface rust across the bonnet there. Bit of a rash going on there. You can see that. And a little bit coming up the side of the wing. It's nice and solid. Though. I know that is. I know that sounds crazy. I'm pointing out rust. But it is nice and solid across the scuttle there. You can see it was last on the road there. In 91. Back down the front there, you'll see those various spots of surface. We've got a sort of want some fabrication on the front arch and valance there. Across the front end, onto the left hand, uh, right hand side again, some surface on the arch. We've had some bits and pieces of repairs going on there, some more surface rust and uh, corrosion. It's going to need some fabrication there towards the rear of the wing, right hand side. We've got some primer on the bottom half of the door there. Again, some corrosion on the rear arch and on the back of the rear door. Up and across the roof, various little bits coming through the surface rust around the sunroof as well. Lift out sunroof, I believe, on that one. It's a lovely shape, this, with that lovely big glass back window. Around the arch, you'll see some more corrosion there. So come around the back end. Nice and straight across the back end there. Original number plates there, Mazda of Hexum as well. So that's a nice local car again. Across the back end, all the lights are good, spoilers good. The rear glass is in lovely condition there as well. We've got another local Colebrook and Burgess Newcastle Mazda sticker on the top of the window there. Around the left hand side rear arch again, we'll see the corrosion coming through on the rear arch, but again, well worth sorting out this one. Rare car these days. We've got some rust across the lower half of the left-hand side door with a hole towards the front. And again, that wing's going to want some attention there. I lift this up. I've already got this engine bay open. You'll have a look at that 2.3 rotary engine in there. Like I say, the vendor says it did run. No problem, but the star motor packed up, and that is in the boot. I'll show you that in a second. Do that now. I've got this open as well. You can see that there, the rams are a bit soft on the glass window. We've got a tool kit there. I'll gently lift this forward. For the correct four spoke spare wheel. What's really cool about this one is we have got the parcel shelf. I know that sounds really odd to get excited about, but normally that's long gone by now. Driver's door card. In lovely condition there, no rips, no tears. You'll see the mileage on 85,298, so really good miles. Gorgeous 80s interior in here. A little bit of wear at the bolster, but no rips or tears. The fabric's in lovely condition. Carpet set's all good, steel wheels nice, and dashboard's all nice and original down there with no cracks to the dash tops, no cracks at all to the dash top there. The vendor informed us that it's been in the garage all these years. Rear seats, four individual proper seats, a little, like a little bucket seat in the back. Again, wanting a gentle clean, but apart from that, no rips, no tears at all to that. And then to the left-hand side. Again, lovely and tidy on the door card. Dashboard unmarked again. And as we come up, the passenger seat, you'll see fantastic condition on the seat. Both seats folding forward as they should, and again, Lovely and tidy on the rear seats from the left-hand side. What a proper base this is to start with. Good owners, good miles. Nice and local, how we like them. And there you have it, the 81 Mazda RX-7 non-runner. The start motor is off the car. It's in the booth. Please bear that one in mind. Don't ring and ask if it's going to drive back to London if we we'll bump start you on the A1. 81 car, current owner, keep us since 86. Been in a garage for a long time this one well worth sorting out in my opinion that